Now, playing today, we have Ryan and Devon and Deja and Glenda. Now, Devon and Ryan, how well do you think you know each other? Pretty good. Yeah, we, uh, you're open with each we other? We write letters to each other. Do you? it's easier to communicate. <laughs> no interruptions. We argue a lot in person. You argue a lot when you're face to face. We're better in writing than face to face. <laughs> well, this is good because you're going to do some writing yeah. today. Cathartic. Okay, Glenda, Deja, do you do you know each other well? Are you worried about this today? No, not at all. We live around the corner from each other. <laughs> oh, that's well, this is going to be fun. Okay, so. Here's how the game works, right? I'm going to ask you guys a series of questions. Everyone will quickly write down what they think the answer is. If your answers match, you get a point, OK? Simple as that. OK, first question. This is for the kids, OK? But everyone will write down, has your mum ever done drugs? OK. <laughs> has your mum ever done drugs? So if you write your answers down, mums and kids write them down. OK, everyone written their answers down? All right, so we're going to go to you first, Ryan. So what do you think? Has your mum, Devon, ever done drugs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> He's gone with, oh, yes. <laughs> Devon, will you reveal your answer? Have you ever done drugs? <laughs> I <I'm> know. <not. laughs> what do you mean? How do you mean, kind of? What kind of answer is that? <laughs> well... <laughs> I've never really experimented much in drug use, <laughs> but there was a time <laughs> when I was naive and young um, where I was involved, I guess you'd call it drug distribution. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Hang on. So you've never taken drugs, but you are a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I wasn't really a pusher, but... Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I, um, what? what I did was I, I took contact pills. This is in junior high school. I took contact pills and I opened them up and separated the red from the yellow from the white and recapsuled them and put them in a baggie and took them to school and I sold them as reds and whites. <laughs> <laughs> For like 50 cents. For, okay. Good I feel like that wasn't the story that you knew, Ryan. What made you think that your mum had done drugs? Well, maybe I'm, uh, my childhood memory fails me, but I feel like I've seen a photo of her in Jamaica with a bong in her hand. <laughs> Devin? That was not a bong. <laughs> I was, well, what that, was it? Was a, it was a fat spliff. A fat spliff? <laughs> oh, my... I'm going to give you a point. I'm going to give you a point for that. <laughs> Let's move over. Okay, Dale, you're first. Okay. Has your mum ever done drugs? What did you put? No, I hope. <laughs> Glenda? Micah, she's right. No <laughs> drugs over here. Okay, yes. well done. I'm going to give everybody a point for that, so wipe okay. your boards clean. Uh, let's move to the next question. Okay, this one is for the mums. So everyone write down your answers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Has your child ever kept a relationship from you? Oh, my God. OK, has your child ever had a relationship that you didn't know about? OK, let's go to Devon first. Wow, Devon, you're writing a, an essay. Well... <laughs> All right, Devon, has Ryan ever kept a relationship from you? Not that you're aware of. Ryan, have you ever kept a relationship from your mother? Kind <laughs> of! <laughs> Um, oh, I wasn't keeping a relationship, but I did sell quite a lot of heroin. <laughs> uh, no. Ryan, kind of. What do you mean, kind well, of? Well, I had uh, I had some relations with a uh, an older woman. That, that How was, old are we talking? Uh, like a young fifty-two. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go on. Tell um, us more. Well, Definitely did not well, know that. Well, she was she was a. A divorce, see, going through it. Um, yeah, I think... And I think... how old were you at this time? This was, this was just, uh, like, uh, like, last year. <laughs> 20, 22 or 3. You're 22. Uh, 23, yeah. She was 52. Yeah. Ooh. And did, did your mum know this person? No, no, I... Yeah, she was a, a random woman, divorcee, and then, uh, I guess, you know, her life was kind of sacred, her house was sacred, so we, uh, went, we hung out in her her daughter's childhood bedroom. Oh, my God. 
that's just getting I, worse. Kevin, you can understand why he wouldn't tell you oh, about defi that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Glenda. Yes, what do sir. you think? Has Deja ever had a relationship that you didn't know about? No, but I wish she had. Yeah. <laughs> but I wish she had. <laughs> Deja, what have you gone for? No. No. <laughs> no. Not at all. No way. I... She overshares. Oh, really? <laughs> so. You would prefer it if she didn't tell you. Really, the TMI. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh well, that's a good thing to know for no, the future. No. I mean, who else do I have to go to, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on. So you're listen. I think what I think what your mother's saying is maybe don't share quite so much about the relationship. Back. Would I be right, Glenda? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Final question. Okay. This one is for the mums. Okay. Everyone, get ready to write down. Okay. When do you think was the last time your child lied to you? <laughs> so, <laughs> Devon's looking at her watch like ten minutes ago. All right. So write these down. When do you think was the last time your child lied to you? Okay. We're going to come to you, Devon, first. Devon, when do you think? Oh, regularly. Really? <laughs> no, can you be more specific than that? What do you think? Well, they're not terrible lies, but maybe I'm calling him on the phone and he's saying, I gotta go right now. Be he doesn't have to go right now. <laughs> you know, um, he just to avoid talking to me. He will, you know. That's yeah. not how it goes. <laughs> Ryan? I love talking to her. Um, just, just... A few months ago? You've written a few months. Why ago. a few months ago? Well, um, she uh, did not want me to get another tattoo. She knows about a tattoo, but I got another one. No, you <laughs> didn't. It's, it's my clown. I'm a clowny person, and his, it's Mike the Squid. Is this the first time your mum is seeing this yes. tattoo? It is. Have a look at this, Devin. What do you think of this? Oh, you devil. <laughs> Thank you for using a word we didn't have to bleep, <laughs> Devon. <laughs> Devon, how do you feel about this tattoo? I'm not happy. I was going to have to show you at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I wear shorts. Right. That's why he had to get off the phone, because it's like... <laughs> right. I guess there could be worse things. Come on, we're still, we're still at fist pumping stage, though, aren't we? Mm. There we are. OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Linda. Glenda, when do you think the last time they lied to you? I don't. Her nickname is Truth Serum. Her nickname <laughs> is Truth Serum. You don't think yes. she's ever told you a lie? Even as a little girl. Really? She told the truth even if she got... If you, even if she was telling on herself. Well, let's find out. Deja, yes. when was the last time that you lied to your mother? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. This morning, 30 minutes ago. <laughs> what do you mean? What was the lie? What was the lie, Deja? So this morning, um, I told you I had a really important meeting. I did. It wasn't for work or anything like that. Um, it was with the o OBGYN. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Glenda, how do you feel? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're going to be a grandmother, Glenda. <laughs> that was great, your mother. We'll be right back with more of the Late Late Show. Oh, my gosh. That is so beautiful. I'm happy for you. I am so happy for you. What a great way to find out.